A couple of days ago, I made a video about David Grush and how he came out with a bombshell statement for the first time in months in which he spoke about his 40 whistleblowers not being assured to come forward and not being, well, they were approached by Arrow, but they didn't want to talk to Arrow because they did not trust them. Uh, I'll read that statement first from David Grush because it will provide a bit of context to, to this video as well. So this was some Skyfire news, new David Grush statement. David Grush states that none of his 40 whistleblowers spoke with Arrow out of distrust. He also says that Senator Gillibrand does not have access to his whistleblower list. And this was the statement that he made. Quote, I am not aware of any of the 40 primary interview subjects that were formed in the basis of the ICIG whistleblower complaint um, having gone to Arrow to be interviewed. The witness conveyed to me a lack of trust in Arrow and the command climate. I am only aware of three individuals with mostly second-hand knowledge that were interviewed by Arrow, and I also spoke with them some years back uh, to re during my research process. Those individuals did not pr uh, produce some interesting leads, and I followed, uh, but it appears Arrow did not have the expertise to distill the information that they were given as it should have provided them with some large body foreign intelligence and other US program information I had access to that is not reflected in the Arrow Historical Report Volume 1. Senator Gillibrand does not have access to my witness list, so I am unaware of how the Senator allegedly has any assessment in that regard. Now, I left the video there the last time, and people were like, well, this doesn't really have too much context, because in, in what did Senator Gillibrand say that? Well, I have found the clip from the Ask a Poll, which is ran by Matt Laszlo. Uh, and it says, exclusive, Gillibrand, probably July for the public UAP hearing in US Senate. And this is the photo of it. Who? Senator Gillibrand, D. Uh, New York, Intelligence and Armed Service Committees. So this is the interview with it. So we're going to take a little listen. Uh, and... This will provide a little bit of context as uh, to that entire report if my mouse wants to start working. Welcome we to the Ask a Poll UAP podcast. I'm your host, Matt Laszlo, based here in Washington, where I hound the nation's lawmakers on your behalf. Thank you so much to all our subscribers. And hey, make sure and give us a like, if you like us, that is. And if you haven't yet, please consider a paid subscription to help this scrappy startup continue changing Washington one interview at a time. And now, here's our latest Ask a Poll exclusive from your U.S. Capitol. Okay, what you got? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't scheduled. I told my staff to schedule it. Cool. Um, he said he's available to come in. Nice. He's already finished. So he's agreed. Uh, I said I wanted to do it this summer, and he said he'd love to do it. Nice. And, um... Uh, I told him I want him to do video of the things that he's figured out because like nice. they figured out a bunch of things that looked really weird and now yeah. I want to know what they are because it gives the community yeah. something to fully understand to see how strong the science is and how to present to the public basically the public. So the public can yeah. say like if you've seen these 10 weird things we figured out three of them yeah. we're going to show you these three we still don't know about seven yeah. but here's three and this is why we know and this nice. is why better con better footage is important yeah. it's why better sensors are important it's why we need to like do over the horizon radar in a certain way yeah. because so without data we can't assess yeah. and not knowing isn't acceptable yeah. And so it, I've asked him, he said yes. Next. Nice. Well, I'm going to see a date for my staff. Probably, 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 probably July. July. I'm hoping cool. July, and if not, then September, but I'm trying to July. Cool. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for listening to Ask a Poll, your conduit to Congress. I'm Matt Laszlo, offering a hearty thank you to all our supporters out there. Keep feeding us your questions, and we'll keep holding your politicians accountable to you. So that is really interesting because the if you pair that in with um, what David Grush said, of course, you've obviously got Senator Gillibrand who's trying to push for um, UAP disclosure and hearings in July, I believe it was that she said, a public one. So similarly to that of what David Grush sat last year after he blew the whistle in front of News Nation, uh, which who shared it to the world. And bear in mind that that actually came almost a, a year ago to the day 
in which this statement was made. So if we were to take it back to, to here, of course, so Senator Gillibrand, Gillibrand sorry, uh, stated that she had access to the 40 primary interview subjects. So basically the 40 whistleblowers who sit under David Grush. So after he uh, went public, obviously he kind of became a bit of an icon, if you will, for UFO whistleblowers because he had the balls to stand up in front of the world and say, this is what's going on. There is, he labeled them interdimensional beings on this planet. We've made contact with them. There are spacecraft that are being worked on. He didn't use the term spacecraft, but craft. And also within the craft, there were bodies of non-human intelligence. And he basically was like, yeah, this is all true. And, you know, he kind of labeled it as hearsay from his and, and secondhand information from his initial um, interview. But in his um, recent kind of outings and um, exposés, he has since gone on to say that actually some of those experiences were first hand. So he has seen these things first hand, um, whether that be through documentation or physically seeing the craft or the pilots. We don't actually know yet, but it is very, very interesting to say the very least that obviously Senator Gillibrand is pushing for this UFO disclosure, as stated from her Oscar poll with Matt Laszlo. But David Grush is turning around and saying, well, actually, like, you know, she's got no access to these people that I'm aware of. These people kind of go through me. Um, so what she's saying isn't necessarily true. So it's very, very interesting to say, to, well, to say the very least, but what caught their ear. And I told him I wanted him to do a video of the things that he'd figured out because they like they figured out a bunch of things that looked really weird. And now I want to know what they they are, because it gives the community something to fully understand and how strong the science is. Gillibrand told us. Um, and this is the full transcript. I'll leave a link to this down in the description if you want to kind of listen back to it, if you want to. Um, hear it for yourselves or read through it or you know you want to become a pay patreon of the ask a poll website uh, but it paints a bit of a picture as to who's telling the truth because obviously person gillibrand is trying to push ufo disclosure trying to you know make herself a bit of that like icon for these uap public disclosures and all the rest of it um with arrow bear in mind arrow are absolutely rubbish let's be real like their reports are nonsense and the things that they come out with are equally as nonsense but regardless she's the only person really pushing for it but then you got David Grush, who's like, well, actually, she's not exactly the most credible person because she states to have access to these 40 interviewees. But, you know, she's got no access to the to my witness list so far as he's aware. So God knows who stands where. But I leave it over to you guys. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. While you're down there, be sure to jump together the hell out of that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Take my little boss to get notified whenever we upload to the channel. And until next time, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. And I will speak to you later. Peace.